Hi there, this is Love Jumar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you so much for watching this channel. Today, we will understand about a very important topic uh, which is being, uh, you know, present in Azure 7001, which you, you know, might get confused sometimes, which is special interest groups. What are these special interest groups? Okay. So, the reason why we need to have these special interest groups and the, you know, reason why they play a very important role is because when you have already implemented an ISMS in an organization, you need to update it, right? You need to update it with the changing requirement of the business. You need to update it as per the changing risk in the business. And in order to accomplish this, you need special interest group support. Without the support of special interest groups, it would be very difficult in order to do that, right? To continually update the ISMS that you have, okay? So a special interest group, if I define, you know, would uh, nothing be, uh, you know, other than uh, an individual or an association or a group of uh, organizations which have common interests, right? Common area of knowledge, common interests, you know, where some people work together and they try to solve problems, okay? Produce solutions and develop knowledge, okay? This is the meaning of special interest groups, okay? So in our uh, case of ISMS, this area of knowledge is called as information security because we are managing an information security management system, right? So what are the examples of these special interest groups, okay? So these are special forums, okay? You might have Reddit, you might have different forums, right? And professional associations as well. There are different, uh, you know, support groups all together who provide these uh, services, right? You can even, you know, have this as third party vendors in your organizations, right? You can have them. And how will they help you in the organization is because they will keep you updated, okay? For example, uh, there would be best practices adopted by the market, okay? There are different new policies, new procedures, guidelines and checklists that you can also adapt to your organization needs. But again, who will inform you? These special interest groups, right? And again, market and security trends related to your industry. For example, changing laws, changing regulations, your, uh, you know, customers' requirements are changing. So accordingly, all these changes, you know, you need to be aware of. So these special interest groups will play a, you know, major important role over here. And uh, the news about the recent, you know, uh, latest uh, threats, vulnerabilities, attacks and patches, you need these in order to check your defenses because it is better to learn from others' mistakes than misfortunes rather than your own, right? So basically, you need to have these news related to the new technologies, products, and what can you use to improve your uh, security or to achieve the same level with reduced cost and or effort, right? That's why uh, specialized consultancies are also there. Okay, that's what I also already mentioned in the in the beginning that you may have this expertise. You can you know make them by your side. You can you know hire them as a service provider. So specialized support is uh, also available. You know in the markets nowadays. Okay, and whenever you have a problem, you can get in touch with these special interest groups. Okay. So government can also act as special interest group uh, for for some organizations because, you know, government has, you know, uh, emergency services, firefighters, you know, additional resources, police and all. And depending upon the legal requirement of each country, you know, you might have uh, involvement of government also in your organization, depending upon the risk that you have. Okay. And the type of business that you are performing. Right. So. Some of these uh, issues, as I have mentioned over here, you can you can identify for free. Okay, you might say that you know all these uh, information I can find easily on the internet. Why why I need to pay? Definitely, you can find that on some websites or newsletters. Right, uh, you can do that. But definitely, you know, uh, if you don't have that time, if you don't have that bandwidth, if you don't have that resources, then you need to have you know a consultant or support services in order to provide these special interest groups uh, services right because you need them okay it is important in order to continue to improve your isms right so you need to establish uh, you know this contact with your potential suppliers and uh, you know because of your procurement processes and all and you need to have these uh you know special interest group in place okay so since uh, this information is of critical nature and it could actually impact your isms over a long term 
So you should be careful about the type of special interest groups that you interact with, especially, you know, with the organizations or third party, you know, service providers nowadays, because the quality of the information provided here is very important. So you have to make sure what all information are, you know, you being provided with. Okay, not all of them would provide you with precise or updated information. Some would only, you know, repost news or information from other resources, which you can also do, right? So think about that from that perspective. The availability of information is also very important. What is the frequency of update updating the information? How soon are they able to provide you this information is again very important, right? So you need to make sure that this frequency matches with your requirement of the updation of your ISMS, right? So for example, if something has been updated and the organization, the service provider is updating you after one month, it's of no use to you, right? So basically you, you need to have timely updates, okay? The frequent updates from them. And most probably, and most importantly, the legitimacy of the source, okay? Not all of the, you know, uh, news and all of the reports and all the, you know, risks and vulnerabilities and threat that they would be providing would be reliable. So you have to make sure that the source is legitimate, okay? Not all of them are authorized representatives, you know, uh, responsible of information that they are providing, right? Because they, they might get it from dark web or other cases as well. So... You need to make sure that the that the reliable source of information is present because of which you get the information in a right manner okay so this is how special interest group will be able to help you because many people don't understand what do we mean by special interest groups when we talk about iso 27001 and uh, you know that's that's why i wanted to create a quick video on special interest groups again if you have any questions you know if you have any uh, doubts on special interest groups feel free to ask in the comment section. Also, I'm providing hands-on implementation of ISO 27001, practical implementation, uh, on-the-job training sort of thing, where you can actually implement all these things which I'm discussing. So you will be given an Excel sheet. You will be asked to list down all the special interest groups for case studies. I have four or five case studies. So accordingly, you need to identify the special interest groups. So this is how we do it in an exercise manner, uh, very efficient for people and people are also getting jobs, able to clear interviews because of the hands-on, you know, knowledge that we are imparting. So make sure if you have any doubts, if you have any, you know, questions regarding the, regarding the, you know, uh, session that I'm taking, please feel free to ask in the comment section. I'll give you the uh, reference numbers for the same, okay, where you need to contact for that. And uh, any other questions related to ISO 27001 implementation also, if you have, feel free to ask me in the comment section. It has been over eight to 10 years that I'm, uh, you know, in the subject matter expertise and I have trained around 100 students now uh, and they're absolutely placed in, uh, you know, nice companies and have earning nice packages. So if you really want to be amongst them, uh, then please feel free to get in touch with me. I'll help you in that journey, right? And uh, yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.